Greetings, this is Mr. Gone. I'm back with um, a new type of tutorial. I'm going to be doing a series of short tutorials covering little, um, little things that the YouTube and uh, 3 community have been asking for. Um, this tutorial I'm going to feature how to do wiring. Um, not wiring as in affecting other things, but um, like literally wiring like cables. Um, I know a lot of people have trouble with that, and I got a personal request for it. So what we have here um, is a personal thing I'm working on with a friend of mine, an, uh, an engineer. And uh, it's just it's a TV thing that raises out of a box. You might have seen this in movies or something. Um, and it's neat. It's all rigged up properly, and everything actually works in it. If we get... Um, this is the case what it will look like once we fabricate it. I had to concept it first. Uh, you see, uh, so let's take a look at the wiring I was talking about. If I take this stuff. Alright, so see all this wire in here? This is what the tutorial will be about, is how to make this happen in the easiest way possible. Um, so we can... This actually works, by the way. Alright, but... So we're going to cover that kind of wiring. Also, we will be covering um, the animation of the wires... Or at least quickly how to do something like that. Like this wire actually animates so it stays with um, the object it's connected to. We won't be using reactor. We'll just do straightforward um, uh, keyframe animation. So with that being said... Uh, Oops. No, we did not want to save that. So what do we have here? We have... Um, also, I'm going to put all this, uh, all these uh, files on Rapid Share. So you will be able to get these actual pieces so you don't have to build them on your own. Um, what you have here is just basic... Um, you know, a monitor I made once, I duplicated it twice, I made like, you know, just a little uh, bullshit desk, that's fine. And what we want, our, our goal for this is to create a wire going from the plug, the power source to the monitors. We're going to run it through this loop on the back of the desk here that I made. And we're going to attach them to these plugs here that I made. Um... So that's what we'll do, and we can get started. Also, I forgot to mention that I made the wires already, so you can you can not you don't have to do that. You can save yourself some time. Um, these will represent the wires. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to uh, obviously open my file. And what you'll get is just this basic layout. So we'll get started by adding a spline. And we want to identify a couple of things. This is where it's going to leave the monitor. We want it to go through, track, make sure it goes through the little um, holder thing here. And then we'll connect it to one of these plugs. We don't know. I guess just for fun, we'll mix them up a little bit. We'll connect it to this middle plug. So what I want to do is I want to create this spline. I'm going to pretend that it went through that loop there because right now we're working in 2D, right? We're only working on a flat surface. And since we're going to the middle plug, and <clears throat> I 
Okay, good. So we have that. Now let's go into another view, and we'll see the the spline sitting on the ground. That's no good. You want to go into your um, your vertex mode of your spline, and we'll just start lining these things up. Uh, for example, we will take these two and we will slide them up into position. What you want to do is just basically run the spline the way you'd want to, uh, uh, the way you want the wire to run. So this we can zoom in a little bit and get it right in the middle, or at least close. Raise it up. Also, uh, make sure you have your handles so you can change the direction and the curve. I want to get all these up to the top of the desk height because that's where they're sitting. I'm just going to pause the video while I work this out as to save time so we can squeeze more information in a short amount of time. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, I just did the top portion. Um, it took me about, I don't know, two minutes, maybe. Um, I just make sure that it's not um, piercing any of the solid polys we have here. Like I said, I just uh, I moved the handles around a little bit to make sure... It's not intersecting. Ah, see this slid off a little bit. We'll go back in and fix that in a minute. Um, so we trace it through. Okay, it's coming off the monitor, sitting on the desk. It's looping through this, and now we'll start with the bottom portion. I want to move this up. See, something like this is very unnatural looking unless the wire was crimped. And in that case, the wire could be crimped a little bit because these are, you know, a monitor uh, power sources. So they will be able to hold a little bit of a shape because they're so thick. But also when they're thick, they hold a lot of weight. So keep that in mind when you're modeling something like this. So my goal is now is to um, get this last part of the spline to... Um, touch the end of yikes where am I at <clears throat> to touch the plug here and then line that up ah, we're already at 835 I hate that YouTube rule you know that bullshit 10 minute thing and you can use your other viewports I'm not going to also, I got these plugs to fall naturally because I used reactor. I just made them rigid bodies and dropped them onto a plane. So that saves a lot of time trying to pose them on a ground plane. And we're at nine minutes now. Um, when we come back, we'll finish up the tutorial. I'm just going to do the one wire, I guess, maybe for now, unless I can speed it up a little bit. I want you guys to do all three. Like I said, I'll be passing out this file so I can see your guys' results. Um, so I will... Uh, see you in just a minute.